Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. So I just went over to the pet shop and I bought some feeder bugs. Wait, wait, what? What are these? You dare call yourself feeder bugs? Come on, man. You gotta do better than that. So I brought these home and today we're gonna be feeding with what? You guys, too mainstream. Out of the way, man. These are what we're gonna be feeding the tarantulas today. I mean, look at them. Oh, these guys are thick, man. Look at that. They're fat as heck. Oh, okay. So these, I'm pretty sure the tarantulas are gonna love because this is the first time I'm gonna be feeding them. And it's kind of like a treat because I never actually found these guys for sale before. It's the first time and... Oh yeah, before we start, if you guys are wondering what these are, these guys are beetle grubs. I'm not quite sure what beetles they are from, but today is going to be a very, very juicy feeding video. So without any further ado, let's start this feeding video ASAP. First tea that we're gonna be attempting to feed today is... Is my Goliath bird eater the burgundy Goliath not the true blondie Goliath so this will also be the first time I'm gonna be picking one of these guys up oh okay these guys send chills down my spine man oh look at the way they move okay oh yeah if you can hear my dogs in the background I'm sorry we gotta proceed with this feeding video anyway so you man you're lucky number one and you are going to like oh guys all right let, let's watch this oh my gosh whoa and there she goes, oh, oh hell yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, chill girl, chill. So look at that, not much juice, but I mean, she took it down. The beetle grub is, well, it doesn't seem to be moving anymore. It's gone, man, it's gone. It is moving a little bit, but I mean, I was hoping for more beetle juice or grub juice to come out. But I mean, let, let's move to the next tarantula and hopefully we'll get a more juicy takedown. Next on our list is everyone's favorite tarantula, Miss Thailand Black, which is over here. Yes, she is in a massive enclosure. And the thing is, this girl, you see, when I put a lot of substrate for her she doesn't burrow this burrow was the one that I pre-made for her it was even deeper but she just covered it up and she just lays like a layer of web and just sits on the top seriously those who say that I have to give her a lot of substrate look at this she doesn't even utilize all the substrate that, that that's just yeah okay anyways let's do what we came here for oh now these beetle grubs I'm not quite sure if they bite I mean it does look like they have some kind of like pinchers in front oh yeah look at that yeah that's nasty so let's see how Oh, this goes all right let's put it down right here oh yep okay you're walking towards the tarantula you are like very very suicidal <laughs> oh you don't like beetle grubs girl i know it's like your first time oh let's go let's go fang actually hell yeah oh oh my gosh look at that yep now that is what i'm talking about some juice now that is what this feeding video is about a very very juicy feeding video <laughs> i'm pretty sure you guys are here because of this this is flipping awesome so let's move on to the next tarantula hopefully we'll get an even better juicier takedown who wants to be a phonopelma simani's food you i think you because you are like staying out in the open so this is the phonopelma simani okay i just dropped the grub uh oh no please do not run away here i'm pretty sure you want this 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 disgusting looking thing oh oh okay Grab it? You wanna grab it? I know you want it. It's so tempting. Yes, there we go. I'm pretty sure these tarantulas are like super tempted when they see, they feel this grub because it's so fat and it's definitely candy compared to superworms because superworms, they're not the most appealing bug out there. They're, they're quite lame looking, I don't know. But these grubs, man, look at them. By the way, I bought one container for about $2.50. I don't know if that's cheap in your country. Over here, it's not that cheap, but I just thought of doing this because something for a change, right? Next up, we have Gramostola Polkra, the Brazilian black versus the grub of the uh, beetle. The Brazilian black hasn't felt it yet, but it's going to feel it when I put it at its leg. And here we go, here we go. Oh no, here we go. Oh, you saw the fangs dig in? Ooh. Yep, not very juicy. I think the Thailand Black's takedown was still the best. So yeah, let's move on. I'm not going to be staying too long on each tarantula because we actually have 20 worms. And if I stay one minute for every tarantula, we're going to be down to like 20 plus minutes. And I don't want to make this video too long. Now this grub, I'm not sure if this tarantula will take it down because this tarantula is still pretty small. But I mean, it's worth a shot, right? It's going to be a very big juicy meal for this guy. I mean, let's go. Let's let's try this out. This is my Ophonopelma bicoloratum, by the way. Oh! Did she take it down? Oh, oh, she took it down. 
Oh, she actually took it down. Hell yeah. So, yep, that's not much that you're going to see of my Afono Palma by Coloradum. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Let's move on to the next tarantula. All right, I'm pretty sure this tarantula would love a beetle grub. This is my Nandu Tripepi. And let's choose a juicy one for her because this girl is a very, very good eater. I'm not sure when it comes to beetle grubs because it's going to be her first time. Oh, ho, ho. Oh my gosh, yeah, told you guys she's a good takedowner. There we go, beautiful. Very, very aggressive eating tarantula. If you guys want an aggressive tarantula, get the Nandu Tripepi. I mean, they look gorgeous as well. A very, very rustic looking tarantula with those pinkish hairs and brownish body. Man, you can never go wrong with this tarantula. Although they do kick hairs quite a lot, so you gotta watch out for that. Here we have the Acanthoscoria geniculata, the uh, Brazilian white knee. And this grub is the lucky grub to get get eaten by this tarantula. Okay, let's go. Oh! Oh, very, very fast takedown. I'm pretty sure these guys, I hope that these guys will continue eating crickets and superworms after this because I know these grubs are super, like, I don't know, addictive. I don't know, I haven't tried it, but I'm gonna feed one to Elvark later and see how he likes it because he hasn't tried one either and I'm pretty sure he would be pretty excited to see one of these fat guys. It's gonna be pretty fun. This is an Acanthoscoria chaquana, the Bolivian pink. Let's see if she wants a beetle grub. <laughs> All right, so can you feel the beetle grub by any chance? If you can't, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I mean, this is irresistible. I'll put it at your leg over, oh my goodness, can you please like just, no, what is your problem, man? The beetle grub just like, dropped into your no please don't come out please don't come out yeah i think this one doesn't want to eat see not all of them enjoy beetle grubs please stay in there we go not all of them enjoy beetle grubs because i think partly because it is their first time seeing it i mean they can't they probably can't see it but it's the first time feeling a beetle grub so i'm pretty sure they're not sure what it is i quite guarantee this one will eat this is my formictopus species green dominican republic green bird eater oh there we go told you this one will eat see i know which one will eat which one won't eat and which one might not eat so yeah this one definitely is gonna enjoy that beetle grub all right next up is my killer brackets ender sony hopefully she will take i mean they just didn't want to eat oh my goodness what was that oh okay i know you're hungry but you know you don't have to give me heart attacks like that jeez man i mean girl okay calm down man you gotta calm down <laughs> and by the way, if you guys are wondering, this girl doesn't borrow as well. It's like my Thailand black. So I put her in this and put a height and she much prefers that. Man, you do not want to mess with the Kilobrachis Andersoni. I mean, look at her eyes. Those eyes just staring right into my soul, man. They're glowing. Yep, let's not mess with this tarantula, okay? We shall leave her alone. All right, we've got two more grubs in here, but don't worry, I have another packet over there. But let's see, let's feed this one. One, two, the Acanthoscoria geniculata, the Brazilian white knee. Woo, beautiful. Man, I didn't even see it take the grub. The whole tarantula like pounced on it and it was like the grub was just gone just like that. I don't know, man. Okay, let's move on to the below tarantula. Yeah, I doubt this one will eat. This is the Nandu Colorado Velocis. I'm gonna put my bets that this one will not eat, but I mean, let's, let's just try. Oh, yep, definitely not gonna eat. Just kicked hairs at me. Yep, hell no. Told you. See, I know which one will eat, which one will not eat. So, ugh, let's feed this guy. This is the Pamphobetius platyoma, Brazilian pink bloom. This one, quite positive that it will eat. I mean, told you. See, there we go. This tarantula is pretty darn aggressive and I mean, anything that moves, she will come after. Yeah, I still think the Thailand Black's takedown was the most juicy one, but I mean, as long as these guys eat, right? Well, this container of worms is done. Yep, no more grubs in here. We're gonna have to move on to the next container. Let's see if my beautiful Arizona blonde over here would like a juicy, juicy beetle grub. So yeah, you're lucky number one and you get to be fed to one of my favorite tarantulas, so be thankful, man. Here you go, girl. Ready? Fire! Man, this this girl is like, you're gonna take it down like super gently or something? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she took it down, but it was like super gentle. There we go. <laughs> So that is why I like this tarantula and why they make great beginner species. They are so gentle and beautiful as well. So yeah, moving on to the 
next tarantula. All right, so this is my grandma Stola Rosea, the Chilean rose hair. Let's see if, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so worm, I mean grub, you gotta move. Yeah, there we go, move a little bit. So she can grab you, yeah. Now this girl, if she grabs, oh yes, hell yeah, man, awesome. Cause this girl is a little bit on a skinny side. I mean, yeah, I mean she looks fat, but I don't know. Her abdomen looks very oblong. It's not like rounded. So yeah, this worm, this grub will make a juicy treat, candy treat for her. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. It's Miss Lord. Have mercy on me. So let's get a grub. Okay, which grub do you want to be merciful? full on I mean have mercy on we'll choose this one since it's like pick me pick me so yeah where is miss lord of mercy lord have mercy do you want a juicy grub where is your leg though come on man make up your mind do you want to like come here or be here here you go oh no why are you in defense posture you're supposed to have mercy on the grub oh no oh she took it she took it no but we missed it it's a juicy takedown though it's a juicy takedown which my phone doesn't want to focus come on man there we go just a little bit focused there it's a juicy takedown and we missed it okay moving on in here we have another arizona blonde but i'm not sure if she'll come on and eat like i don't know you can see her abdomen like over there i'll just drop the worm in the grub and hopefully she'll come and grab it do you feel the grub the grub Grub is moving and here she comes here she comes here she comes and she has taken the grub just like that beautiful okay so not much to see over here so we're gonna be moving on to that tarantula over there this is an unknown tarantula not sure what species this one is yes I still haven't found out what species it is but I mean it's not very fat so we're gonna give it a fat worm in return that was quick, man. That was quick. No hesitation at all. This guy is like, yep, I feel something fat. I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> I don't know how many more worms we have over here, but I think we'll feed another three tarantulas and then we'll move on to Elvar. Miss Lord Have Mercy didn't allow us to see her takedown because she just waited for the worm to drop in for her to grab it. Because, you know, she can be a pain at times, but let's see this OBT. Hopefully, this one will give us some good takedowns. I mean, a takedown because I'm only gonna be feeding it one grub please do not jump on my tongue okay there we go i think we're gonna be able to see this one ah oh, come on worm move oh my goodness will you calm down man oh yes yes did we see that hell yeah hopefully i got that on camera man look at her she's telling me miss lord have mercy didn't let you see a takedown let me show you how it's done she's showing us how it's done right now there we go beautiful thank you girl i appreciate that although you kind of scare me at times moving on to hmm, what's in here what's in here oh serato jars marshali the great horned baboon this is one of my most docile baboons it is a very gentle takedown it's See, told you. The most gentle takedown. You know, some of you guys say your C Marshallis are like crazy demons or something. But mine is like a beautiful angel. Although she can be scary at times. Oh man, you just destroyed a web. Seriously, girl? But I mean, she for a baboon, she is super chill. Did you see that takedown? You know, baboons usually they go like, Wah, Give me that food. But this girl is like, Yeah, give me that food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on. We have got three more. Wait, four more over here. So I'll feed one more tarantula. I'll feed two to Elvar if he wants to eat and one to the flower horn fish. So I know this one will eat. This is the skeleton tarantula, the Ephibopus murinus. Oh my gosh, did you see that? She just ran out. Oh yes, what an awesome takedown for the last tarantula. Hell yeah. And if you guys, <laughs> I'm already like out of breath. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this feeding video is just too awesome. So yeah, that will be it for tarantulas. Let's move on to Elvarg and see if he'll be interested in one of these. What do you call these? Beetle grubs. Oh man, you ready for your treat, Elvarg? You ready? All right, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Don't look at that super. I don't even know why it's there. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I don't want to eat that. I want you to eat this. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be excited when you see this. No, stop looking at that super worm. Here, Elvarg. Here. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Are you interested? Come on, Elvarg. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love this. Look, Elvarg. Look. Look. Look at some. It's a freaking fat worm. You want it? You want it? Look, Elvarg. You derp. He's such a derp, man. Look at his tongue. Here, Elvarg. Half the grub. A maggot. A flippin' maggot. Do you want me to, like, tongue feed you every single time? You, you, you spoiled little guy. 
Look, Elvarg. Look, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this. <laughs> Elvarg. Ooh. Man, Elvarg, you don't wanna eat. If you don't wanna eat, I'm gonna feed it to the tarantula. You don't wanna eat, I'll feed it to the tarantula. Come on. You know you want it. You know you want it. Stop looking at me so derpy and all. Come on, man. Grab the worm. Grab the grub. Look at it. Look at it. Ooh. <laughs> Elvarg. <laughs> Stop being a derp! Eat the grub, god dang it! <laughs> oh, yum! <laughs> oh, oh, that's nasty, man. That's nasty, that's nasty. You liked it, right? You liked it? Oh, come on, man, super worm. What the hell? What are you doing? Alvar, I've got one more for you. I know you liked it. You liked it, right? You loved it. Here, here's another one. See? After you've tried it, you will want another one. Here you go, here you go. Oh, yum! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, that will be it for Elvar. Let's go feed the last one to the flower horn fish.